Hi, welcome back to the Pool Butler YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to spotlight one of our most recent blog posts. So, without further ado, Robert, take it away. Thanks, Jennifer, and thank you for watching our video about when to backwash a sand filter. A sand pool filter uses sand to trap particles in the pool water as it flows through the sand. The sand in a pool filter is usually number 20 grade sand, which is specially sized and shaped to capture particles in the 20 to 100 micro range. As a sand filter collects more particles, it becomes less efficient because more and more dirt is being collected into the sand. It's time to backwash a sand filter when the pressure's gauge on the filter reads 8 to 10 pounds higher than it did when the sand was new and clean. The general rule is that the sand in a sand filter should be replaced about every seven years. This is due to gradual deterioration of the sand. The gradual deterioration may be hard to notice, but there are some signs to look out for. You can read the full blog post entitled, When to Backwash a Sand Filter, on our website at thepoolbutler.com. We have a link directly to this post under the video in the description box. In addition to our blog, be sure to check out the rest of the Pool Butler website. We have over six sections dedicated to helping you learn more about us and why we are the absolute best choice for all of your swimming pool maintenance, cleaning, and repair needs in Atlanta. Do you have swimming pool questions? No problem. On our website, you will find tons of answers, customer testimonials, our contact information, and multiple pages that highlight the swimming pool services we offer, including eco-friendly solutions. After visiting us online, email or call us directly, and we will be happy to answer any swimming pool questions you might have. Learn more about why The Pool Butler is the ideal company for your swimming pool needs on our website at thepoolbutler.net. And finally, make sure to check out the description box below this video, where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles. Thanks for watching, and now let's take it back to Jennifer. Thanks, Robert. Now it's your turn. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon and on the subscribe button below this video. After that, make sure to check out the description box where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles.